Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Melody and today I have a Hobby Lobby haul to share with you. Okay, so I've been living in this house for about a year now and um, I haven't finished decorating any of the rooms that I had planned when I initially moved in. So when I saw that Hobby Lobby had this huge 80% off sale on their spring stuff, I hopped right on. I did spend quite a bit, but I ended up getting quite a bit, so I think it was worth it. I spent $83.49, which isn't bad for the amount of stuff I got, so let me go ahead and show you what I did end up grabbing. Okay, so first off, I got a bunch of plates. I plan to be hosting um, some get-togethers a lot more, and I needed more plates because when I moved here, I only had enough for just the household. So I found these plates and I just really liked um, not only the pattern on them, but the detailing, the gold details here. They are food safe and they are dishwasher safe, but it says here they're not microwavable, which is fine because I'm planning on using them just for um, like finger foods, everything like that. So I got eight of these and to match, I found the little ones. And I think I bought out the rest of them that were in the Hobby Lobby in my town. So I thought these would be great for desserts, just like for cakes or pies or cookies or anything like that, that we would serve at a party. Continuing on with kitchen stuff. So the theme I had planned for my kitchen is Atom Punk, which is retro futuristic in design. Um, most notably, it has a lot of 50s elements to it. So I wanted to go for a red and blue motif. And I found a bunch of red and blue stuff that I could put in my kitchen. Like this, the sign says flowers for sale and I'm thinking of putting it on top of a set of cupboards in my kitchen. So this was really fitting. And to pair with it, I found this sign that says life is a bowl of cherries. And it has the exact design elements I was looking for. Light blue with bright red and it has white polka dots along the side. So that's exactly what I'm looking for for my kitchen. And this little motorbike, I just thought it was really cute with the basket of flowers in the back. and. It will just fit really well. And lastly, for my kitchen, I found this thing. Um, I'm honestly not quite sure what it is, but it matches great with my red bar stools that are in my bar area. So I figured I could put like maybe straws, uh, red and blue straws just to go with and set up next to my retro popcorn maker. So yeah, I can make it work. Okay, and I have an art studio upstairs. And the way I'm decorating that is shabby chic and vintage. So it's going to have a lot of lace patterns, a lot of pastels, just a lot of vintage -y type things. So I found this pink ceramic clock. Um, I think the other one also had a lot of these um, scuffs on them. So I think they're deliberately supposed to be here. But I thought this would fit really well in my art studio. I can probably put just like artificial flowers on here and set it on one of my tables. So yeah, I really like this piece. And another one um, is the ceramic pitcher. I don't know how well it'll hold actual water if you wanted to put fresh flowers in there. Uh, I might do that if I can get my hands on some fresh flowers and see how long they last in here or if the water will degrade any of the material. I don't think so, but we'll see. So I really like this. I might put it on one of the shelves in my art studio. And another one to match. I think the ceramics can hold water or anything wet. For this one, I'm planning to drill a hole in the bottom and place soil and an actual houseplant in there. Um, I have a lot of houseplants and I have a lot of plants that need to be repotted. So I thought uh, maybe a peace lily or something colorful, maybe or like my African violets would look really nice in this pot. And I just really liked the rim, the design on the rim here. It just looks really vintagey and just really fitting for a shabby chic room. Next, I found these trays. They just nestle into each other like this. Um, so I'm seeing now that, yes, all the scuffs are deliberate. I think they were designed to look shabby chic, so they are perfect. I'm an artist and crafter, and I have a lot of art and craft supplies. So I was thinking for these trays, I could put either my paint or paintbrushes on there to display, or I could put my sewing notions or embellishments and have them displayed that way. Or I could display both. I could put all my paints and stuff on this tray and all my embellishments and sewing and crafting stuff on this tray. Either way, with uh, the way the trays look, it's going to have a nice presentation if you, I just display them on one of my shelves in my art studio. So yeah, those are the trays. Now the theme for my living room is steampunk. So there are going to be a lot of brass elements, a lot of industrial looking type things, um, a lot of golds, blues, and bronze. And it's another retro-futuristic 
aesthetic. So one of the design elements I'm looking for are like antique looking things. So I found this photo display case and it is just a world map in the background here. And it came with these little clothespins that came on the twine. And you can just hang loose pictures on here to display. I like the detailing here on the corners. It just looks really antique like. And I like how it looks like a little briefcase that you just hang up. So this is going to be on one of the walls in my living room. And I found some wall art. They had wall art on sale for a dollar. I love mustaches, the mustache designs. I think they're so cute because all my life my dad has had a mustache. So every time I see a mustache, I associate it with my dad, whom I love very much. So um, this just says I mustache you a question, but I'll shave it for later. I just thought it was really cute and I'm probably going to make my own frame for this. Uh, I'm planning on designing like custom frames for some of my artwork and for wall art. So I might film the process of making a frame for this. Uh, let me know if you guys want to see that. And this is probably going to hang right above my TV in my living room. And my bedroom is bohemian and eclectic themes. So just like with my steampunk living room, there are going to be a lot of industrial elements. A lot of wood textures and things that just look like they came from around the world. So I found this thing. Um, I'm not quite sure what it is, but I like that this bowl just hangs here. If you guys have something like this and you have suggestions on what to put in here, different items to display or even putting succulent plants or something like that, uh, let me know because I haven't decided yet exactly what I'm going to put in here, but I'll see. Okay, so my front porch is rustic and farmhouse themed, which is very unoriginal. I think almost all the houses in my neighborhood here have that rustic theme, that farmhouse theme on their front porches. But I like how it looks, so I'm doing the same thing. So I found this farmhouse sign that I'm planning to hang uh, somewhere near my front door. I'm thinking right above my porch set. My porch set consists of some upcycled uh, desk and chair items that actually arrived from Shipping Broken. Uh, they didn't survive my move here. So I fixed them up and repainted them and uh, turned them into my front porch set. So they already set the rustic theme and now I'm just adding on to it. And this sign as well, um, another metal sign on wood with twine. It says locally grown and not this summer or fall, but I'm thinking next year I'm going to plant a vegetable garden in my front yard. And the reason for that is this house is rented and I'm actually not allowed to dig anywhere in the front or backyards except for a specific um, garden plot that's uh, right outside my uh, front window here. So that's where my vegetable garden will have to go. And it'd just be nice to have this sign around when I actually get that going. So lastly, I have another piece of wall art I found. Uh, this was also a dollar, and these are actually removable stickers, like removable wall stickers. But what I'm thinking is I'm probably going to incorporate them in one of my art pieces. Like I have a lot of canvases, and I might use one of these as a background, you know, to serve as the base. So that would be one of my art pieces that would hang around the house. Alright, so that was my Hobby Lobby haul for today. The most expensive thing I got was six dollars, and I think it was one of these really big pieces here. I think. I think it was this thing that was six dollars and everything else was below that. The majority of these items were three and two dollars each so I thought that was a really good deal and now I have more stuff to fill my house with. If you all want to see more hauls from me in the future let me know. Other than that thank you for watching.